Hey guys, it's Levi from The Rag Company and today I've got Ivan from Optimum Polymer Technologies with us and we've got a bunch of products from OPT to do. Uh, we're going to work on the Rag Cobra here, we're going to shine it up, we're going to use the Zen Tool Polisher, the Hyper Polish, as well as the Paint Prep so we can get this paint ready to put gloss coat on. Exactly. And I know there's some discrepancies on the internet currently about gloss coat and the right way to install it. Ivan's going to show us how to do it the right way. The easy way. The easy way, because that's what Optimum's all about. We've also got some towels from the rag company that we're going to be using, the Wizard and the Knight Rider. The sexy towel. The sexiest towel there is, <laughs> being the black and the red. They're both 70-30 blends, like all the detailing towels that we have at the rag company. We're going to get started on here and we're going to have some fun. So we're getting the rag Cobra ready for gloss coat. To do so, we're going to be using Hyper Polish, a black waffle pad, and the Zen Tool. To properly use the waffle pad and the hyper polish, we want to use a damp, clean pad. To do so, the Optimum Pad Washer. Get a bit of dampness into the pad, and there's O&R in the pad washer. Turn the polisher up to speed three. We'll clean the surface of the pad. Then I slightly lift up on the machine. Turn it up to speed six. and wring out the excess moisture. From there, using Hyper Polish, and now Hyper Polish is a spray polish. A couple of reasons it's in a spray form. First of all, nice even coverage on the pad. Secondly, you see a lot of people saying three, four pea sized drops. Right, exactly. Well, if I use pea sized drops, I'm cheap, so I use very small pea sized drops. Levi here, very generous guy, they're the size of a watermelon. What can I say? I like watermelons. <laughs> exactly. So this way, whether Levi's pulling the trigger, I'm pulling the trigger, or you're pulling the trigger, it's all the same amount. One spray is one spray. Right. And it's the right amount for the pad. Now with a Zen tool or any dual action polisher, you don't need to crank it up. You don't need a lot of speed. The cooler you can keep the surface as you're polishing, the better. And that's why we use a waffle pad. It keeps air movement in the pad. The pad is an open cell foam structure, mm -hmm. so it keeps air moving through the pad. And the Zen Tool has a cross-drilled backing plate that allows air to come through. And our Velcro on the uh, foam pads is permeable, letting air through it as well. It's all about keeping the pad cool, keeping the paint cool, keeping the product cool. Right. And the cooler it is, the faster it cuts. So, you're going to turn our Zen Tool on. Always put it against the paint before you turn it on. You don't want polish flying everywhere. <laughs> Now since we don't want to bore you with endless time of buffing, the group here at uh, Hawks Detail took the time to polish this beforehand, so we'll do like the cooking shows and pull it out of the oven and say, hey, it's done polishing. Check it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so to remove the polish residue, Levi, it's up to you. We're going to use the Knight Rider towel. We've got it uh, sitting in a bucket of O&R mixed at the standard dilution. 256 to 1 or half an ounce to a gallon. Exactly. And the key to having a damp towel with O&R is we want that lubrication so we're not damaging the paint surface uh, anymore. And we're actually able to remove the, the polish properly, cleanly. Give me that. Now while the surface is still damp from the O&R, we're going to use paint prep to get it properly prepped for the gloss coat. Which we've got right here. Paint prep will get rid of any oils that may be left on the paint, any waxes, and it leaves it squeaky clean. Exactly. The key to that is we don't want anything to interfere with the gloss coat right. when we're applying it. And another thing that paint prep helps is with the leveling of the gloss coat. It's pretty much a self-leveling product, but this helps. Ensure it. Exactly. Like most Optimum products, Helps if you turn the sprayer on. See, we didn't prepare everything in advance. <laughs> One spray per panel. Yeah. And Gonna use the wizard, wipe it down. No pressure. Let the towel and the product do the work, not you. The best part about this towel is it's so soft that so you're making sure you're grabbing any extra little particulates that may be in the paint but you're not damaging any of those because they're making their way up into the nap of the paint, which is a key to that 360 GSM 
and a gloss coat. Comes with this foam applicator. A lot of different people use different applicators. This is actually the one that works the best. It's included with a gloss coat for a reason. It's designed to work with it. And no, the foam isn't absorbing tons of the product. Comes with this needle tip. Please use it. It'll save you a lot of product because if you don't use the needle tip, you'll be, you may spray a lot of product out in one shot. Mm -hmm. I'm sure, Levi, you've had that experience. I have. Yeah. I was actually doing my van uh, for the first time with it, first time using it, and I didn't let the plunger out. And I came back and my cooler had a very nice coating of <laughs> gloss coat in my garage. So it's now nice, shiny, and protected for the next couple years. So, put some gloss coat on the pad. I use about a quarter of the pad. From there, in a circular motion, I'm going to apply the gloss coat to the paint. Now, gloss coat has zero VOCs. So it's body shop safe. Yeah, body shop safe. And we'll notice that it goes on as a clear liquid. But then it starts looking like an oil slick on water. That oil slick on water look will migrate back to a clear. When 80% of that surface is back to clear, that's when you want to wipe it off with your Knight Rider towel. But not before. If you wipe it off before, then you're removing too much product. The you're gloss not. coat is dependent on humidity to cure, so the higher the humidity, the faster it's going to cross-link. So you can see that oil slick on water look here. Yeah, I can see it as it's dissipating up here. Right. And actually in this area, it's where I first touched it and I had a little too much on my pad. And that's going to stay a very thick high spot. So Instead of wiping that product off, I'm actually going to work it in a little further. Level it out. Level it out. See it's starting to crosslink. Yep. Those high spots are going away. And if you do the job right, I have employees that can apply gloss coat have basically no high spots on the car. We've been able to install it as quickly as whether or not we were waxing a normal car. Right. I mean, the time is, is amazing and the longevity is amazing. Yeah. It's definitely at least a two-year coating. Uh, lasts a long time. Great gloss, as the name implies, but it's a very good coating as well. So it's going to protect against chemical etching. It's going to protect minor marring, not scratching. Right. You know, it's not going to protect against your ex-wife going down the side of the car with a set of keys, but against a dry microfiber towel, yes. So those high spots are gone, most of them. There's yeah, you a few. can see it's almost fully disappeared. Right. There's a little high spot here. There's a couple around the vent here. So we'll just lightly take the towel. No pressure whatsoever. And you're not actually removing the high spot. You're spreading it out. Because it's cross-linked with the clear. It's exactly. actually bonded with it. Yeah. And we're done. Gorgeous. With a gloss coat syringe, you're going to be doing more than one vehicle with it. So the applicator pad, you want to keep it around for a couple of vehicles. To do so, you take your bucket of O&R, put the pad in it with the gloss coat on it, and squeeze it out a couple times. That's going to clean out the gloss coat while it's still damp. Don't wait till the next day to do this. Do it immediately. Let it dry, and it's good for the next day. Now there's another thing you can do with this pad. Levi, I'll let you explain. So Ivan just showed me this. I've been using gloss coat a long time, but he's told me it's a double-sided pad. I couldn't believe it. Like this is the most insane thing. It's totally blown my mind. It's again, optimum efficiency. So today we polished and gloss coated the Rag Cobra. Yes, yes. We used the Zen Tool 21E polisher with a waffle pad. To make sure our waffle pad was properly prepped, we used o &R and our optimum pad washer and got it nice and damp, cool, and ready to polish. Keep the paint looking good. Exactly. We used Optimum Hyper Polish to give that nice glossy shine. And then we moved on to... We finished it off with some uh, Optimum Paint Prep to make sure that the paint was as clean and as naked and as oil-free as possible. That way the gloss coat could cross-link itself into the clear coat of the Cobra. Right, and to properly clean the panel, we used the Wizard Towel to make sure that the paint prep was doing its job. Exactly. And we used the Knight Rider to make sure we leveled out that coating when we were finished to remove it, uh, give it that great shine. Then you showed me a trick I'm still blown away by. I can't even speak right, it's so great. Double-sided <laughs> pad, is that amazing? But we dumped it in a bucket of O&R, cleaned it out. Once it dries, it'll be perfect and ready for next time.
So be sure to check out more videos on the Rag Company YouTube channel. Again, Ivan, thank you for coming. Always we a pleasure. appreciate it. It's been awesome. Hope you guys had fun. Till next time.